Hey everyone, I'm Brad, I'm an educator at OMSI, and today we are going to be talking about insects. So we've got a lot of insects that you can probably see outside that all come in different shapes and sizes. I'm holding one in my hand right now that is called a Vietnamese walking stick. You're probably not seeing this outside your window, but um, you are going to be uh, seeing all different insects that actually have the same types of body parts. We have their head, their thorax, which is the middle part, and their abdomen. Okay, so today we are gonna be making an insect out of objects that you might be able to find in your house. I'm gonna have specific objects and items here that you might have. If you don't have them, there are other things you can use to substitute for, uh, for the ones that I have here. My main component I'm using for my insect are marshmallows. We're going to be using toothpicks to kind of hold them all together. We're going to be using some pipe cleaners, and we're going to be using craft feathers, if you have any. Uh, and then we're also gonna be using these little brass fasteners, which are also called brads. Every insect has three body parts, as you might remember. We've got our head, our thorax, and our abdomen. We're gonna attach them using toothpicks. So I'm going to take my toothpick, be careful with it because it's a little bit pointy, uh, and I'm gonna stick it into the marshmallow so that part of it is sticking out. Then I'm gonna take the next part of our insect and stick that part on the exposed bit of the toothpick so that they are stuck together. Remember not to eat these because they've got spiky, pointy things in them. We're gonna then take another toothpick and stick it into that one and then we put our last marshmallow on and we have our three insect body segments ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is put all of the head parts on, all the important parts of the insect's head. The first thing that goes into the head are its eyes. We're going to be using these brads for the eyes but you can use anything that looks like eyes that you can stick into a marshmallow. They've got two eyes, two nice compound eyes. The next thing that they have on their head that are really important are their antennae. These are the ways that they feel the environment around them and are able to kind of tell uh, what is, uh, what's around them. So we're gonna take a pipe cleaner and stick it right on the top there into our marshmallow. And then we're gonna take another one and put it right there. So we got our little bug face with our antennae and our eyes. The next part is the thorax. You might remember that the thorax is where all of the legs come out of and every insect has six legs. Well, it kind of looks like a little ant with its six legs sticking out of its thorax. If you would like your insect to have wings, they are also gonna go in the thorax. So we can stick them right on the top so that our insect can fly around. So on our insect now, we've got our eyes on the head. We've got our antennae on the head. We have our thorax, which has six legs like every insect has. Uh, and it has wings, which a lot of insects also have. Our abdomen, again, has all the important stuff on the inside, so there's nothing sticking out on the abdomen. It's just there on the back of the bug being important. If you make an insect, we'd love to see all the different types that people make. Insects come in all different sizes and shapes, so have a lot of fun with uh, making an insect. And uh, if you do make one, share it in the comments below so that we can see what everybody's made. We're really excited to see uh, what you all come up with for your different marshmallow insects.